Creators may go to great lengths to make their prank videos more outrageous and attention grabbing. This can involve using elaborate props, creating state scenarios, or even involving unsuspected members of the public in the prank. Just like any other person, I find them entertaining too. It's curiosity after all. The desire to watch newer and newer content, the availability of new content in the digital age, and our brain's reward system. We just cannot stop ourselves from watching such content. Creators may also feel pressure to escalate their pranks in order to maintain their viewership or compete with other creators. But should all that be acceptable? Can we really ignore its consequences by just laughing over it and saying, oh, come on, it's just a prank, learn to take it lightly? I sat down with Ankur to discuss this issue. I am Mukta Goyal, and you are listening to The News Park. Hey Mukda, how are you? Hi Ankur, I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. So Mukda, tell me, do you like watching prank videos? Obviously I do. I love them. They're fun. If only it was real. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's fun. But uh, if I know they are scripted, then I tend to lose interest. But you know, prank videos are usually among the most watched content on YouTube. Do you know that? Yeah, of course. I mean, no doubt about it. Prank videos go viral Mm -hmm. instantly, which means increased exposure and fame for the creators, right? Yeah, and obviously for those who are looking to build a following, you know, or maybe monetize their content on YouTube, I think prank videos are the biggest hit. So, like, can you tell me what kind of prank videos do you like to watch? Well, um, experiment videos, like the blind man experiment where they conduct a social experiment to see how strangers react to a blind man who drops his wallet on the street or something. (laughs) Yeah, I watched that. And, you know, like, uh, what would you do? It's just like that. Like, this TV series features hidden camera social experiments that Mm -hmm. test how people react to different scenarios. And I guess each episode tackles a different social issue, like racism, homophobia, bullying. Yeah, yeah. And all our actors and raise awareness about important social issues, right? Which ones do you like? Um, you know, those types which are more scary or violent. <laughs> yes, like a killer crown scare prank, you know, those <laughs> involving a group of people dressed up as a killer clown to scare unsuspecting victims on the street. Run. Uh, And the video features jump scares and is meant to be a prank. But some viewers may find it frightening and disturbing. I know it's frightening for some, but like I love those. And like, for example, Ghost in the Elevator Prank, you know, again, with like a hidden camera thing, when people enter the elevator and suddenly, you know, they're (laughs) uh, welcomed by a creepy ghostly figure. Oh, yeah. I also and I also like the celebrity lookalike prank videos. What are they? Oh, haven't you watched any? Like, try watching Ariana Grande's lookalike prank video. Uh, in that, uh, Ariana Grande's fan dresses up uh, like her and goes around pranking fans at a meet and greet event. Oh, yeah. I think I've watched something like that, like a fake Donald Trump on the streets. I'd like to welcome the fake news media, which is back there. There's a lot of people back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's That's also one example. Yeah, but why do you think people like that? Hmm. Well, I guess prank videos can be a form of escapism, like a brief distraction from the stresses and challenges of daily life, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, like I find them entertaining, funny. Yeah, and especially when they involve unsuspected or surprising reactions from the victims. But I do understand that while some pranks are harmless, other prank videos can be more malicious and involve Hmm. humiliating and embarrassing the victim, right? Which can be hurtful and traumatic. Yeah. Like, you know, what happened to Tanner Cook, which is what I wanted to discuss. Just like any other creator, he too wanted fame and made videos on YouTube. But who would have guessed that he'll get shot because of it? So what what is his age? He's in his 20s, right? 
yeah just 21 and you know he has millions of followers he was shooting a prank video in a mall in virginia where he got shot wow and is he still alive yeah luckily yes shooting closing down a mall in virginia after a youtuber allegedly tried pranking a man for a video but then he was shot in response that suspect now in custody. This is 21-year-old Tanner Cook, you know this guy? a budding comedian who posts videos regularly to his channel, Classified Goons. Welcome back to another video. He's known for ruffling feathers. Hey, get the hell out of here. Sometimes to the point. So what does he say about the incident? Like, I think he might use this incident for some more fame. <laughs> you think so? Well, I was thinking the same. He also told the media that this experience will not prevent him from making more prank videos in the future. Like, he's lying in the hospital bed and saying that prank videos are his passion and nothing can stop him from doing that. Mm, so no learning at all. <laughs> no. Many people, in fact, came in his favor and said that they're just pranks, you know, learn to take it lightly. Hmm. And this is not just the first time that this has happened, I guess. I mean, I keep hearing news about pranks, video going wrong. And yeah, I... recently, as I don't know, a few weeks ago, there was a YouTube creator who jumped off a plane and uh, and recorded the whole thing where a plane went to the ground and crashed. It could have harmed a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. So this plane incident reminded me of another one. Like in tw It's a 2021 incident where a Tennessee man was shot and... He was also making a YouTube prank video, which basically went wrong. Oh, so what happened this time? Was this pers person just shot or shot and died? Oh, shot and died. Like, have you watched uh, robbery prank videos? Uh, no, what, what, what is that? And is that even a real thing? Yes, people love to watch that stuff. So the incident I'm talking about is a man who was shot and killed in the parking lot after a robbery prank. Mm, and it was for YouTube? Yeah, so this guy, Timothy Wilkes, he was just 20 and he approached a group of people with his friends and they all had butcher knives. Oh, as part of their prank? Yeah, it was a part of their prank, but the people there, you know, took it seriously and they shot him in self-defense. All right, her grandson was shot and killed during what investigators call a prank robbery in Old Hickory over the weekend. Tonight, we are hearing from a grieving grandmother as she hopes her pain can prevent a similar situation. News 2's Josh Breslow with the story. I don't even see him as a man. I always seen him as my baby. Soft-spoken and shy, just a few of the ways that Shirley Berry describes her grandson, Timothy Wilkes. You never really seen him smile too much. He was always serious. Metro police say Wilkes was shot and killed. Detectives determined the 20 year old and a friend were taking part in a prank robbery as part of a YouTube video when they approached a group of people with butcher knives. One of the people in the group, a 23 year old man, was unaware of the prank police say, so he shot Wilkes. That man has not been charged. Mm, obviously, he didn't guess it was a prank, right? I mean, and these pranksters are aware of the consequences, but they still dare to do that. They know someone might take it seriously. Like it is, a, it is risky. I agree with you. Like people can go to any extent. Do you remember the fake bomb prank gone wrong? Yeah, that YouTuber who pretended to have a bomb strapped to his chest and approached strangers, right? Exactly. I mean, you can guess what will happen in such a situation. One of the strangers, obviously, they called the police. Um, they just arrested him for causing public alarm and disorder. Mm, yeah, this is so extreme. But, you know, even innocent pranks can be disastrous sometimes. I do agree. There's a drive through prank gone wrong that I watched. Mm, and what happened there? Yeah, there a person posted a video where the host pretended to throw a fake spider at a drive through worker. Oh, that is just a spider, I guess. That, is that acceptable? Yeah, like, you know, it uh, seems like a, so a small prank, but the worker was so scared that she threw hot coffee in the host's face, causing burns. Oh, I see. Hmm. So even innocent pranks can be dangerous, right? Yeah, they can always escalate. You never know. And they can just become so extreme. Mm. And it is sad that people just gain more views and attention because of that. The view, I hope viewers stop contents, which is just not right. Yeah, I mean, if if the viewers stop watching such content, these prank pranksters will learn their lesson and make better content, right? 
we can only hope so but yeah. thanks ankur for discussing this topic well thank you so much it was necessary i feel thank you thank you prank videos can be both fun and humiliating depending on the nature of the prank and the reaction of the victims some prank videos are harmless and involve playful jokes or tricks that are meant to be lighthearted and entertaining for everybody involved while others can be more malicious and involve humiliating or embarrassing content which can be hurtful it's important to recognize that not everyone finds the same things funny or entertaining and what may be considered as a harmless prank to one person may be humiliating or distressing to another it's also important to consider the potential consequences of prank both for the victim and for the person creating or sharing the video Thank you for listening. See you next time.